Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 161. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. All right, so we're here for the Class R3 Super Lap Days. Uh, and we're going to be obviously taking part with the Ferrari. I have just realized by the time we're about eight hours into the stream, which is halfway, we're going to have finished this. And then for the other eight hours, it's just endurance races. Nice. Let's get going. We're going to start with the Nordschleifer, then Fujimi Kaido, then Rally de Positano. I can tell you now, I'm, I'm not looking forward to the endurance races. I'll be 100% honest. They're going to be long, but I think we'll get five. I'm going to do five of them on... I think I'm going to do a stream on Monday. Monday night at some point. I'll get another, the other five done there. And then it's the World Championships, which, by the way, the World Championships, if you don't know, they go from being, like, half an hour long for the first one, the F-Class one, to being, like, four hours long for the last one. Like, four hours for one championship. And it's even worse on motorsport. Four. I think it's like six hours for the final championship. It's phenomenal. Daydream. But the difference with Forza Motorsport 4 is the earlier ones are longer. World Championships are phenomenal. I can't believe it's been six months since I've played this game and it feels like Oh, it feels like I'm still playing my playthrough. <laughs> it doesn't feel like I've had six months off. It's a real torture. It's going to be fun, though. I think as well, it's going to be one of the first ones where I'm actually going to have to split it into separate parts. Because most of the championships in this series so far, I haven't had to split into two videos for the things. I don't think anyways. Maybe I might have had to split a couple of them, but... No, I don't think I have. I think I've just had some long videos. But yeah, the uh, World Championships will definitely have to start doing part ones and twos. There's no way I'm doing a four hour video. No. -uh. No. -uh. Mm I actually quite like this guy's music, but he hasn't made a song ages, like four years. Same album. The you know, one thing that does irritate me, right, is music artists, they get paid to make music, right? But they then become, they don't make music anymore. Like, I think if, if it's like if you had a job and then you just said to your boss, right, well, I don't want to make money. I don't want to make me... I don't want to do my job anymore, but I still want you to pay me. It makes no sense. You should... 
some artists, like, like Nero for example, a great example, eight years since their last album, they're still making remixes, they're still producing things here and there. Make some damn music. Eight years is too long for an album. Four years is too long for an album, let's be honest. I think artists should aim to release an album every two years. release 20 songs in their next album I'm disappointed apparently there's only 12 as well from the screenshot that got sent about two years ago which again two years ago they said the album's just around the corner that was a lie wasn't it their logos in films and whatnot and shows and why the hell are artists allowed to just sing about it and they can't be sued like don't get me wrong i'm on the artist side of things i think but i also think you should be able to have brand logos in videos and it not be the end of the world oh i pressed the wrong button i meant to press shift up i don't know how i'd manage that to be fair but A rig? What, a sim rig? Hey, fair enough. PS5 controller. I'm using a PS5 controller on me Xbox. I know. It's an abomination, but I'm, I'm, I'm going with it. I am being the abomination. So the thing is, right, obviously, I prefer... Mm, the, the PS5 controller is very similar size, size, but I prefer the feel of the triggers. Because when you're on a racing game, the problem is the 360 controllers don't go flush with the controller and the triggers are like these lines so when it's like a button and you're using it for like a first person shooting that's fine but I don't use it 
like a first person shoot, I'm going to be holding down that trigger for a long time because I'm accelerating, I'm racing. Um, and obviously that makes it really difficult to, uh, what's it called? When it's that narrow and you're sort of pushing it down to the max, it makes your finger uncomfortable. So that's why I prefer driving with this, because the trigger of the PS5 control one is much, much wider. And therefore it actually gives your finger some support and whatnot. It doesn't dig into your finger. Um, so that's why, why I prefer it. But I, f I find it really ironic when Xbox, a company who's like, yeah, let's make this adaptive controller then, means you can plug whatever you want into it. For people who aren't able to game, that, that struggle and whatnot, and I, obviously I'm like, that's a really good idea. Everyone should be able to game. Except for the fact, what if you don't find Xbox's controllers comfortable, but you don't need that? Oh, well, you're screwed. You just have to put up. Like, that's their mentality towards that. And it, it just seems really, really silly that they lock off their system to only your own controller. And I know why they do it. It's because Sony does the same thing. But again, Sony has announce an adaptive controller but if you don't need the adaptive controller bloody hell I need one if you don't need the adaptive controller but you you don't find the PS5 controller comfortable well tough shit put that up like that's what it is Uh, the PS5 controller is really good. It's one of the most solid, strong controllers that has been made for a long time. But I'm not a fan of how far behind I am. I'm not liking driving this thing around. Sake. Oh, fucking hell. Any way to get a wireless PS5 controller on PC? Just use Bluetooth. It's a Bluetooth controller. So, PS4 controller supports Bluetooth, and you can connect to either a phone, a laptop, or PC via Bluetooth. And you could use a controller like that, or you can use it with a wire. Um, Xbox controllers only support that if it's Xbox One S, X, and Series controllers. Uh, the original Xbox One controller doesn't actually have that. That's still an old school, like, infrared controller. Thing. Uh, come on, i got to try and get this position back. Sorry, I see chat messages in chat, but I can't. Uh, there is a tiny bit of delay. Any wireless technology, there's always going to be a little bit of delay. Um, I notice it when I'm doing sim, uh, sim racing on WRC, that there's a little bit of input delay, and I have to compensate for that. If you play with it long enough, it, you don't notice it. But there's obviously a, a minute amount of delay that is there. Um, but it's like that when I'm playing on the PS5. It's like that when I'm playing on an Xbox with a controller. That's just a factor of it. That's just wireless technology. It's not anything worse than what you would expect from a wireless controller. No, there's no... You don't need a wireless receiver. You just need Bluetooth. So, my 
PC doesn't actually have Bluetooth built in, so I had to buy a little Bluetooth dongle that goes in the USB slot, and then it has Bluetooth. So, either you have to have a motherboard with Bluetooth, or just get a Bluetooth dongle, that'll do the job for you. It is bloody good though. If you guys are interested in helping support the channel, feel free to join as a channel member. You can have a look at all the tiers down below and you get access to a lot of different perks. There's actually quite a few different perks available to you. So feel free to check it out. Oh, this is a good song. Sub focus. Calling for a sign, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolute tune. I'll be honest, Sub Focus's new album is so good. It's one of the best drum and bass albums that's been released for a while. Stinker. Oh, and even worse, we got Rally di Bossetano. Nice. Well, I think we did a good job. We want something similar to the Xbox 360 controller and the Series X as well. This is nothing like the 360 controller. That's the problem. This thing is nothing like it. That's why I chose it. Because I hate the 360 controller. It's terrible design in terms of ergonomics. Great design for durability, but terrible design for ergonomics. 100%. Bird, you stupid. <laughs> I fucking I love, yeah, Satan mech. This is the kind of shit I vibe to. I vibe to heavy metal. No, not that stuff. Oh, this is Joyner. This is a tune. If you're into rap music, this is good. Trying to feel solid. Dying on the inside. What the hell are you doing? You plonker. I'm gonna carry on from here. around the corner there. I think I was born different, I really have a choice, yeah. 
Oh yeah. I just don't know how to say it. I mean what I say. Yeah, I'm on my way. Hey, no worries, Snap y'all. Oh you dickhead. Get back here. No! Obviously, you're just going to park there. You're going to put in neutral as well. Don't forget. I'm not a fan of... What a tune. What a tune. Big house, little house, cardboard box. That looks like Squidward's house. <laughs> Is ADHD mine to a T? Some meeting in my head. Same on me, gone. No one can miss us this day. Looking forward to taking the fastest cars around this track. Now that I think about it, our one's probably going to be a bit of a nightmare. Terrible on so many. I've rewinded three times in this race. Absolute stinker.
very nice. That was a good finish. We got just over 10 hours left. Oh, my back. Oh, lovely. I think I need to sit back a bit. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.